in the future, of course, because I can focus on my art instead of high school and work and everything like that, I can create more artwork, so you can expect more from me this year. Yeah, that, uh, that did not happen, so... I don't know what I am gonna... <laughs> I don't know. Like, do, did you expect something else? It's me we're talking about. I'm always, like, saying one thing and then never doing it. Uh, that would be my biography in like one sentence anyway we'll come back to another video five months later uh, I'm finally at my school I've been here four months I've been here since August and I've been working a lot with art um, even though you might not have noticed it since I haven't been posted any posting anything uh, ironically um, also, I must apologize, uh, I'm sick, and you might hear me that I'm congested and my, like, my nose is, uh, um, yeah, I'm just sick, that's my point. Um, yeah, this drawing was actually the first drawing, first and only drawing that I've actually finished the, uh, digitally <laughs> this half at the time that I've been here been working a lot uh, tr more traditionally uh, you might have noticed if you follow my Instagram uh, that I have been moving on to acrylics and I really enjoy working with acrylics on paper and on canvases so that's kind of what I've been doing lately um, if you're interested in really like knowing whether or not I'm dead you should consider following me on my Instagram account because I actually post things there and like YouTube. <laughs> anyway, this piece, um, I don't know, I was inspired by water. I don't remember things very clearly. This is a very old drawing. I posted this maybe two months ago. So yeah, that uh, explains kind of why I don't remember a lot of it. Uh, but I know I was inspired by water. So that's where I took the inspiration from. I wanted like a mermaid type of... Um, I think mermaids was what was on my mind when I made this, even though she doesn't even have a tail. I just wanted to make something um, like a liquid along with the coloring and I wanted the water to reflect the colors and I had a lot of big ideas for this, but it was mostly just, you know, to get back into the game and start drawing more uh, digitally. Uh, and you know enjoy myself this isn't wasn't that serious of a painting um, I have this uh, bad habit that every time I do something I have to do it like 100% and it has to have a concept a meaning to it um, and I wanted to change that so I just did like a cute little illustration that I find aesthetically pleasing but there's nothing like there's not a deep hidden meaning behind it so I guess that's kind of different um, coming for me usually the only pieces that I make that isn't um, well like it doesn't have like a big meaning behind them I make them traditionally so I've kind of switched places where I make traditional art with meaning and then digital art without meaning and I'm just really trying to work with the mediums that I have been provided with this school year and I'm really enjoying myself. Now, something I did with this painting that I've never done before is actually, as the base color, I used two tones. You see, I used the pink one and the blue one. I wanted the blue one to kind of uh, be the water reflecting light back up at her. That's why I put it on the high points of her like chin, cheek, nose, and things like that. And I think it, re look, it looks so cool with like, uh, the contrast of the orange and the blues, especially that light blue. Um, I wish I just left the painting here, actually. I have this problem where I always overdo something. And I feel like every time I look back at my speed drawings, I feel like they look better now than they do at the finish, like the ends. And I wish I saved them, like, at this moment, because they're so much more aesthetically pleasing than when I, you know, like, I can't control myself when it comes to colors. I'll just keep coloring on until I just can't, like, physically put more paint on it. So that's, that's, uh, 
that's been an issue when uh, working with traditional art. Um, and later on, I think uh, those of you who work with acrylics, you'll see some techniques that I use um, uh, traditionally and I brought them into the digital world. Um, f- like, I'm also, I like my paint tool side got deleted, so I had to reinstall them. I lost all my brushes. It was a whole like chapter in my life. Nothing was working out. So, uh, I wasn't very used to the the brushes either. Not just that it was digital, but also because um, my favorite brushes got deleted, so I had to like, um, remake them and I didn't kind of want to do that because I didn't I just wanted to paint okay I didn't want like a lot of work I just wanted to have fun so uh, it, it's more blurry than I usually do and I think I mean it looks really aesthetic but uh, it's not my style also these eyes there was something about them I feel like in my style I have um, figured out how I want to do most of my things. I, f- I figured out how to do noses and the mouth and like uh, the proportions, everything like that. But eyes and especially like the iris, I have no idea how I want them to look like. I always struggle with this point. I like them simplistic and I like them to be dark, but I feel like that's also very boring, but I don't want that, you know, very magical look as well. I, I don't know. I'm just rambling at this point, but there was something about the eyes that really bothered me and I couldn't get them right. So, yeah. That's uh, that's also what I've been trying to work on. My style. Uh, yeah, this is where I start to paint the water, I think. No, I'm still on the... Yeah, actually I'm on the hair again. The hair as well. I'm not completely sure how... Like, I don't really... I kind of like the style here. Um... But as you know, I can't control myself, so I'm just adding more highlights. And soon I'll be adding more shade, and then... I really wanted her to look contrasted, like I wanted to have to try like uh, sharp shading, but I'm not that good at it, so I just keep blending, and then like all the colors that I added didn't really matter in the end. Ugh, well... Now we're here, so I start with water. I've never really painted water before, so I just kind of went with it. But I feel like actually i made it work it looks like she is submerged in the water especially when i add the uh the reflection of her in the surface of the water and yeah well this is the point where i'm like getting inspiration from my uh, acrylics where i just add like uh, strokes of red paint without like any specific reason to it and it kind of looks cool like i place it very like randomly and it does kind of look strange but I feel like when I add the yellows and especially like the pink to her eyes and the green uh, eyelashes it, it looks very pulled together it looks like uh, like I w- obviously I meant to put the red there but it looks like I made it that I put it there um, with like knowing that it would look good I don't know how to explain it but yeah and I really like the pink in her lips and the highlights and this, uh, this, uh, how would I say, like, uh, the fog around her. It looks very magical and that was kind of what I was going for. Uh, so even though this wasn't, like, my, necessarily my favorite piece, I really enjoy, like, maybe, like, hints of it. Uh, especially, like, the red. I'm so pleased with that and I will do that so many other times. I... I look forward to like experimenting more with digital art now knowing about traditional so that's kind of what I've been working on anyway here's the finished product and oh you can find this art I have the links in the description if you want to look this art these are also all of my social media Uh, I have a Facebook account even art tumblr and Instagram more frequent on Instagram and I uh, post more frequently there uh, so if you want to check me out that's kind of my main uh, social media account anyways thanks for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video hopefully bye